Next, we have poster 73, Role of Inventions to Tackle COVID-19 Epidemic in Sri Lanka, Patent Law Perspective. The authors are Virakorn TP and Punchiheva NS. Presenting today is Virakorn TP. Good morning, everyone. And uh, first, I would like to thank SLMA for providing us this opportunity uh, to present our research here. And uh, to start with uh, the introduction part of my research, uh, the, the, as you might know, there is a, a plethora of inventions recently uh, with the COVID-19 impact. And uh, I anyhow, there are, uh, uh, th there are some issues uh, uh, regarding the inventions that's, are, that's coming out regarding the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Uh, because uh, not uh, adequate uh, measures were taken in order to go, go, uh, to, go to uh, channel them in a proper way uh, for these particular pay, uh, inventions. Uh, so uh, in, in, in our research study, we uh, actually uh, assessed there are several uh, patent databases in, in the country so uh, we access those patent databases. They are administered by the National Intellectual Property Office of Sri Lanka. And uh, uh, I access these uh, uh, databases. Uh, there are some particular search criteria as well in order to access these databases. And uh, we uh, also accessed some uh, international databases in order to f uh, find whether the Sri Lankan inventions uh, are being filed in any uh, particular uh, geographical area outside uh, the Sri Lanka, so Sri Lankan context. Uh, uh, apart from that, uh, we uh, looked into the publications. Uh, we uh, checked into the data regarding like uh, using uh, e-newspapers, uh, their web websites. We accessed their websites and then uh, we as you can see in the in, in my graph, uh, there is a uh, this the, the timeline shows the there's a how the inventions are uh, been have come out during uh, these newspapers as o as well as there's another graph that you can see uh, how many patents are the, so those inventions are a, a out of eighty pa uh, out to out of eighty inventions only uh, around twelve patents are been filed so actually if you don't file a patent what happens is you uh, there's a possibility that, that to reinvent the same thing again because uh, others are not aware of uh, what you have invented so uh, th th there's a huge importance that you need to file and uh, others should be aware of what is being invented but what's in the context already because that would be reinventing the wheel same, same thing so uh, what we suggest through our study is uh, the policy makers, uh, particularly to the health sector, uh, we the people uh, should uh, look in to uh, patent statistics why, when they are uh, disseminating uh, research and development funds. And also, uh, they, they, there are some criteria regarding uh, uh, elevating awareness among uh, health professionals regarding patent law. Uh, and also uh, among the inventors, because uh, some uh, some of these inventions are coming from the health sector uh, employees, empl uh, employers as well. So uh, 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 that's all uh, for my presentation. Thank you. The paper is open for discussion. So how do you think that one could decide? Because the inventor he himself may not be aware. Sometimes a uh, lot of information uh, of uh, what he has invented. Yes, so what procedure is available to promote uh, uh, applying for patency and? Uh, yes, madam, as of now, currently uh, there are 15 technology transfer officers in each university. And uh, uh, through these uni uh, entities, we uh, provide awareness programs to the academic staff, researchers in the universities, as well as for uh, people who are in the commercial sector, we provide some awareness programs as well. And 
there are some uh, ongoing sessions uh, uh, administered by the ministry of education and uh, ministry of uh, technology i think uh, they have uh, some uh, programs like that and uh, through these programs uh, and also we are hoping to publish some uh, books in the near future regarding uh, this matter so to elevate and also there is a plan to imbibe uh, intellectual property in the school curriculum in the future so th th this is a, a long time plan so did you find out the demographics of these inventors? Were they mostly school children, university based uh, staff or, uh, you know? Uh, yes, sir. Th th there, is a, there is a demography. It's mm -hmm. like this uh, a majority of these inventions are coming uh, from uh, univers university sector. Okay. Uh, but uh, however, there are some inventions that are coming from the school students uh, and uh, people outside mm -hmm. the academia. Mm -hmm. Uh, but the issue is, a uh, lot of people, uh, they put out their inventions in the media, first of all. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the biggest issue, because if you want to reveal your invention, you should not be revealing it to the media first. So, you should first go through a proper path, file a patent, or there, there are some other intellectual property rights that you have the ability to file. So, uh, first you need to go through that path, then you can then reveal that you have filed a patent then you have the opportunity to reveal because first if you reveal it's like I if you f uh, publish a research abstract or a research paper regarding your invention also that that gives uh, others the idea of invention and they, they have the opportunity to do, do the same thing okay. so what is their uh, awareness of these proper pathways and yes. uh, you know ideas like uh, awareness of institutions like the yeah. national inventions commission now yes uh, there are like pa there are particular workshops we uh, the they are conducting as well as in the universities we are conducting as well uh, we we as of now we have uh, conducting uh, workshops in each department's faculties in universities uh, to elevate the awareness about how the researchers are able to fi find whether they, they have, when they have a particular invention, or uh, it might not be an invention particularly. Uh, even when they, uh, prior to starting their research itself, I when they have the idea, they have the ability to uh, access those databases, and there are particular strings, uh, search strings, There's a, there are certain me methodologies like a Boolean, uh, there are Boolean methods, truncation, uh, th there are certain particular methods. So, uh, using those methods, uh, they are able to actually find. And uh, we, are we are more than happy to help even any academics in the universities. And e even for the people outside uh, the universities also, we are create, uh, as, uh, as I mentioned earlier, we are providing them with uh, adequate information as well. Thank you. Thank you once again, Thank and please can we have a round of applause?